Hello guys, welcome to the part two. So which we have done this, right? So we have given all our self weight and the loadings to the beams. So guys, uh, we have done with all our loadings, right? So now uh, we're going to give our live load, right? So click on live load, click on add. So go to floor load. So we're going to take this as minus five or we'll take four. So minimum is three. The maximum is 44. Okay, global y axis. So click on add and close. Select over here. So all our building loading condition has been done, right? So now go to WX, click on add, go to the wind load. So minimum is three. The maximum is 45. So we're going to take for the X, so it is zero. So we will be taking this right. So X add and towards minus one. Add. And add over this also, right? In any case, so click on Z, add. Minus one add this one add and close. So we have added all this towards this right. So delete this one. So this is the x minus x and this is towards the so one. Now go to load case, click on add on the wind, double use z, add and close. Now go to z, click on add, go to wind load, select the z words as 3 and 45, click on z, add and minus z, add and close. So this is the direction and this is the minus z. The words right. So for this also, we have to add the wind load on the six the words multiply as three, or we can take as ten meters to come around this. So that I'm giving this for the ten meters of height. So minimum as 10 meters Maybe for this also you can change it right so this is the windward direction so this is the x this is the minus x and this is to the leewards right And also we can add the leewards towards minus x also, right? Minus one also. So like this one, so it will act in over like this. For z also we will be adding, right? So we select the wind load towards minus z and minus one sub so ten and this of forty. Or add and close. So you can see over here. Okay. Now select all this. Okay. Okay. So all the loads have been assigned, right? So now go to members. Select all beams and go to members. Click on out of all members. So all the members will be formed, right? So now go to groups and brief. Click on new brief. Select this as beams and give it name as beams. Click on OK. So here we have to select our reinforcement covers, right? So 
main reinforcement as 16 and this also as my 12 so we have 500 grades so this for the shear and this for the follow case click on ok right so after that we need to go to our front view now select the beam cursor select the beams right we have to select all our beams right So you must be careful while selecting our beams, right? Okay. So now click on new design group, select this as beams and OK. So here we can see all our design groups have created, right? Go to 3D. So after that, go to concrete members, click on design and click on design. So here we can see. So all our beams are in safe condition, right? So now if you go to the so after that, uh, again you go to the generator envelopes, you can create new envelopes. Ensuring the alert conditions. So after that, again go to slabs. So I select the slabs. Go to slabs, form slabs. It's okay, so we don't need to add any slabs, right? So go to inverse, complete inverse. So here we can see our main reinforcement, the shear layout of our beams, columns. So these are the main reinforcement. So here we can see everything, the shear reinforcement and we can also get the drawing for this. We can also cut the span for this, our drawing, right? So now we will save our model, right? So after saving, again go to our modeling, go to design. So now go to concrete, select as uh, F456, select parameters. Select all this compressive yield, FY, main and secondary bars. So we will take this only. Now go to define M25, so 25,000. One head, FY minus 100. And the five section is 100, and the maximum size of main reinforcement is 60, right? and the sectional is 25 or 32. Add and close. Now go to commands, click on design beam, add, design column, add, design slab, add, take off, add, and close. So now select this one, assign to view, assign address, if 
If I mean assign to view, assign like this. If I sectional, assign to view, assign like this. Next like reinforcement, assign to view, assign like this. Next like sectional, assign to view, assign like this. Design beams, so select the beams. So assign like this. Design column. Select means parallel to Y, assign it to this. Design element, assign to view, assign it to this. So we have assigned all our design properties. So again, go to analysis, add and close, run analysis, and save. So we are checking it all. And warning. So now go to post processing, click on done. You can neglect the warnings, okay? So we select the plate, click on max absolute, click on OK. Due to date load, and this due to live load, and this to wind loads, okay? So now uh, you can see the animations about reflections. So here our deflection has been reduced. If we see on later, uh, before designing, we can see the deflection over here, right? So here somewhat we can see, right? So now I can go to place stresses, max absolute, animation, click on stress and OK. This is the stress distribution or due to dead load, and this due to live load and this due to wind loads, right? So now uh, we can select the beams, select the beams over here, property, shear bending, deflection, here we can see all the concrete design also. We select the column, here we can see the our column design, right? On close, so we can get the reports over here by clicking the start flow also, too, right? So now if we go to the results, here we have the concrete design, right? So here we can see all the reinforcement about the shear, uh, bottom reinforcement. So here we can see the beams. So we provide two legged 8 mm diameter at the rate 140 mm center to center spacing. So if we select the column, so these are for the column sections, right? So what are the main, what are the tie that should be provided? What are the movements about it? Everything we can we can look over here, right? So if we see the output, so we can get all the outputs over here, right? So here we can see so how much unit of volume of concrete is required for this. It will also calculate along this also, right? If you see the concrete design. Finally, we can get the volume of the concrete also, right? So here we can see all the beam designs. We can also get print of our results also, right? So it will be so such number of pages we can see over here, right? So we can click on cancel. So I'm not printing it out. So like this, we can see all the graphs for this. So for the bending movement, shear force, everything, all the stresses. So what are the stresses acting over for these beams or plates, nodes, forces, displacement, everything we can see over here, right? So we select this NZ, FZ. So all the reactions, all the so we can also get this. So if we see our building, so this our G place 50 building with swimming pool or tank. Okay. So this is how we can design our building in our Stadco software. Thank you.